out of town. How they gonna find a moving swiftly? Five steps ahead of the best, so that's nothing. Twenty steps ahead of the rest, they left stunting in our face, not what not can't stand for. It's Hobart. It's tennis. And we're live. Oh, it's more for me. Now I gotta pay for the puss. I score for free. And the same thing I pulled on them, I pulled on you. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Good luck with the D-Rig, mate. <laughs> yeah, good luck with the D-Rigs. <laughs> Stop following me, man. <laughs> oh, fuck it out, Danny's doing some work. This is where you shine. <laughs> Beautiful day, really. It's a bit of downtime after Hobart International. Just need to find some somewhere to get a paddleboard now. Try not to get eaten by a shark, I suppose. That's the next. Job. Come on now. So just going for a little wander, it's my last day in Hobart, um, yeah, absolutely skint, so I can't really do anything, just enough for a little bit of dinner later, and it's not such a great day today, so I didn't want to go to the beach, I thought, let's have a little look up here, up near where the tennis is, I'm going to walk up to the botanical gardens because I actually thought the botanical gardens were at the bottom that we walked through every day walking to the venue 
but that's actually the University Rose Gardens I've just found out. So yeah, just walking up here. It's quite pleasant really. Um, nice views over the other side, Rose Bay and Montego Bay. Got a bridge there which is quite spectacular really. I actually thought there was a beach down here somewhere but I'm not actually sure there is. But we'll have a little explore. Just walking up uh, Soldiers Memorial. Basically they planted a tree for all their servicemen that were killed in the Great War. It's quite a nice thing to do. Quite a nice way to remember them I think. Um, yeah see what we find today. I'm just following these little parakeets. Um, I think that's what they are. But every time I get close, obviously they fly away. But the trouble is all these grasshoppers are going absolutely crazy around my feet. I'm a bit worried about snakes maybe or something, but I'm going to persevere because it's something to do, isn't it? It looks like they've all buggered off now though. And crickets are just jumping crazy around my feet, which is a bit weird. Hey. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> what accent was that? <laughs> Didn't realise Captain Picard had made a visit. Little bugger. Come here, you little bastard. Flaming galah! Definitely the wrong footwear choice this morning for this sport. Fucking bastard. Pretty mad how that tree's just completely hollowed itself out somehow. Something's eating the shit out of it probably. Or oh, it looks like maybe a fire. Yeah, it's probably a fire actually, looking at it. It's incredible really that it's survived that. I've arrived at the gardens. Just gonna have a little mooch around, see what's about. gardens now it's amazing really that 10 minutes ago it was overcast and cold now it's like bright blue skies and hot crazy country anyway we're here to have a little meet around it's very pleasant actually a lot of kids about it's a bit annoying but we'll get through it a lot of hills to walk up and down, I know that much, but I'm no stranger to that this week. Some truly fantastic trees here, I must say. Not a bad spot for me, little lunch. Only Japanese could do that. Cat in a rucksack looking out the back. Genius. Stop doing that, boys. <laughs> you carry on. Size of this bastard. Fuck me. Crazy little things as well. Look 
Really pretty flowers flowering off that elm. Beautiful white leaves. Unusual. Classic English elm. Unfortunately, it reminds me of Redden and Elm Park. The iPad's out, folks. The iPad's out. <laughs> 